My research has really been focused on trying to find ways to help people. And uh, even in, the, in this research with psychedelics, it's really been to try to understand how the brain works and how the brain generates mind and maybe how we could find ways to treat people with various types of psychiatric disorders. So to see that some of this work was, was taken and, and people died as a result was kind of a shock. Um, I think I used the word stunned in that, that essay. Um, I, it's difficult to sort of describe the feeling. Uh, I really had never even, until that point, had never even considered the possibility that something that I had done might lead directly or even indirectly to somebody dying. The basic issue was how I felt about people using my research to make these legal highs. And uh, the thing that first uh, hit me was back in the late 90s when we were doing some of the first research on a drug that's known as ecstasy. And uh, in the course of that work, we had made a compound called methylthioamphetamine, abbreviated MTA. And uh, I discovered in the late 1990s that uh, several deaths had occurred as a result of people taking this, I believe in the Netherlands. It turned out, uh, when I investigated further, that someone had made a large number of tablets containing this MTA, and the tablets, curiously enough, had been called flatliners, and that people had taken them, and as of about 2002, there were five or six people who had died as a result of either taking large doses of this MTA or either mixing it with other drugs. I think this is a dilemma that a lot of scientists uh, may face, um, that their results can be used for either good or, or bad things. Um, it's just sort of a given that when you do science, you publish, and it's out there for people to see what you've done because they may get ideas, they may extend it further. Um, my idea was that somebody might take some of the research we had done and find new ways to treat uh, psychiatric disorders or schizophrenia, uh, something like that. So. I never thought about not publishing. It was more the case that I was sad that people had taken something that I was trying to make good and had turned it into something that was kind of negative. I don't know if there's any real solution. Um, really, you would almost have to have a way to preemptively prevent the things from getting out. I think now once, the, once these things get out and they're on the street, the legal authorities, if it's a public health hazard, they'll step in and, and schedule them and restrict them. But to prevent that, I don't, know, I don't know how you would actually do that. And I think that uh, people have to be responsible to a certain extent for their own actions.